Do you have a large family and need a Class A RV with two bathrooms and bunk beds? Well, stick around, folks. We're going to review three in this video, and you'll want to stay till the end of the video to see which one is our favorite and why. This Class A RV with two bathrooms and a bunkhouse is the Holiday Rambler Vacationer model number 36F. It measures in at 39 feet long. When you first walk into this RV, you can tell it is super, super huge. And this whole entire side of the RV slides out, which gives you a lot of extra space. Up here in the driver's cab area, it's very, very spacious. You can see we have a lot of storage cabinetry plus a TV built in here. And if that's not enough, the top over cab slides down where two people can easily sleep in that location up above. Right straight across from the doorway is the dinette area in here. This is a very, very comfortable dinette with a leather finish on it. The table does drop down and create another sleeping area. In fact, these dinette cushions sort of jackknife in on top of the table, so it creates a very comfortable sleeping area. Um, also above the dinette area, you'll notice the oversized window that opens and closes so you can get plenty of airflow in here. And then just to the side of the dinette between the driver's cab and the dinette, it's got these awesome cabinets with adjustable shelving and pull out drawers. The kitchen area in here just looks terrific. I mean, this cabinetry is a lighter colored wood. It's very, very beautiful. It's complemented by this gray backsplash tile look. It's just really pretty. And it's even got a big window over top, which lets in a lot of light. And you know, every kitchen should have a window over top of the kitchen sink. Now the kitchen sink itself is a double bowl sink, nice and deep, pretty big size comes with extra countertop covers to increase your countertop space in here. It's got a really nice gooseneck faucet over top with a separate sprayer. There's also plenty of counter space before you make your way over to the three burner stove. And then down below the stove is a really nice big oven. This is one of the bigger ovens that I've seen in any RV for that matter. So really nice big size. You can cook a lot of larger items in there fully extendable drawers so you can keep all of your kitchen utensils and then there's a ton of storage underneath the kitchen sink too over the kitchen sink area there's a very large cabinet with an adjustable shelf in there for all your storage items and just to the right of that is a very large regular microwave oven but it's an extra large size so i like that a lot next to that you've got a residential style refrigerator in here and it is really huge. I mean, you can really store away a lot of food. And then down below is where the freezer is located. Now, as we work our way past the kitchen, we get into the entertainment and living area inside this Class A RV. This RV features two theater seats. Each has a cup holder. And there's also a little lift up hideaway storage area between the movie theater seating chairs. Up above, you have plenty of storage, and inside all these storage cabinets, it's actually carpeted, so it keeps things quiet when they're bouncing around inside when you're rolling down the road. Nice touch. Right across from the movie-style theater seating, you have your entertainment area here, and you have a shallow cabinet above for storage. You can keep DVDs, CDs, things like that in there. Good-sized TV with a sound bar, and then down below, a beautiful fireplace. Now, as we move past the entertainment area, we move into the bunkhouse area of this Class A RV. These doors are really held on by pretty strong magnets. You really have to pull them to get them to open. But you'll notice in here there are two bunk beds, or you can remove the bunks and use it as a big wardrobe closet. It comes with a big rod up top. Each bunk has its own window, has its own light, and they also have their own receptacle and USB ports. And then finally down below, fully extendable drawers for even more storage. Now, right across from the bunk beds, you'll notice that there's a little entertainment area here. Also, you have your fuse box up top, but you do have an area here that you can hold some storage like CDs and DVDs also. And there's a TV here, so both kids from the bunks can watch this TV, or you can mount individual TVs inside the bunks for the kids. And then there's an additional storage space below that. So here I am in the first of the two bathrooms that are in this Class A RV, and this one is located directly across from the bunk bed, so it's in a great spot. 
Inside the shower here, I love the fact that it has glass shower doors. It's a very good size shower. The shower head is on an adjustable rod so you can move the shower head up and down to the best height for you. And it's just a really good space in here. As far as height room goes, it's at least seven feet tall, even with me standing inside the shower. Now the rest of the bathroom in here is a very good size as well. You'll notice, first of all, there's a very large medicine cabinet right over top of the vanity. The vanity is a good size and there's a lot of countertop space around it. There's closed storage below the vanity top and then there's open storage behind the commode. Finally, here we are in the back of this RV and we are in the owner's bedroom and it, it just feels super large in here. Two reasons for that are the super slide on the one side creates floor space and the king bed also is in a slide that creates more floor space in here as well. It's a beautiful setup with windows on each side, a nice built-in headboard, and of course you have additional storage overhead. There are also reading lights underneath of the storage on each side. Then there's a small nightstand on each side of the bed that includes receptacles so you can plug in all your electronic devices. Just across from the bed, there's a very large wardrobe closet here with a rod on top and on the left side it has built-in adjustable shelving and then it has a very large drawer down bottom for storage too. Right next to that there's a TV that's mounted in here. Perfect spot for viewing from the bed. I wish it was a little bit bigger but that's what seems to fit here the best. And then there's a bank of drawers fully extendable for additional storage down below. Finally, here I am in the very, very back of this motorhome and the bathroom is pretty large. It extends the whole entire width of this motor coach. I'm standing in the shower here again. I've got, you know, a seven foot height in the skylight overhead. Shower has glass doors and an adjustable shower head so you can pick the height that works best for you in here. There's also a soap ditch and shampoo holder in here as well. Now, as we move out of the shower to the other side of the bathroom, you'll notice that it has a really nice big medicine cabinet here and an additional cabinet with pull out shelves next to that. There's also a ton of countertop space in this bathroom and you'll notice these couple of doors that are louvered and behind them is an automatic washer and vented dryer combination. Finally, here I am sitting on the commode and the elbow test. Oh, it's a little tight back here, but the bathroom feels so big, it really doesn't matter. It feels pretty big inside of this bathroom. This Class A motor coach is a Thor Miramar model number 37.1, and it is 39 feet long and packed with awesome features like bunk beds and two bathrooms. Now, when you first walk into this motorhome, it feels really big inside of here. It's got a beautiful dining and living area. The driver's cab is very big as well. So it's got a very nice feel to it, as you could tell from Susan walking from the back all the way to the front of this Class A motorhome. Now the driver's cab itself is very spacious and roomy. Lots of area up here. One thing we really like about the driver's cab is that the door is located behind the passenger seat instead of in front of it which gives us this ability to have some extra workspace up here. You'll also notice got the classic huge front window that you'll find in Class A motorhomes. You've got the fans up top to keep you cool, storage space up here as well. And then this whole area above me drops down and two people can easily hop up there and sleep in the over cab area. Now, right across or right behind the driver's cab, we have the dinette. And this dinette can easily seat for people, it's very comfortable, very spacious. It's even got a couple of cup holders built in here. It's got the big window over top, and they also have fully extendable drawers so you can take, care, take advantage of the storage space underneath of the dinette seats. The kitchen area in here is what we would call an inline kitchen. Everything is in line, and it's got a good amount of countertop space too. We're started out here at the kitchen sink where it's got a double bowl kitchen sink pretty deep and the double bowls are kind of nice and then it's got a gooseneck faucet overhead with a separate sprayer you'll also notice a lot of countertop space here these are actually Corian countertops by the way then you have an induction stove top along with two propane burners up top here you've got a convection style microwave oven with storage above 
And then you've got plenty of storage over top of the kitchen sink area as well. And one last thing over top of the entry door, even more storage space there. Also right by the entry door, you've got side access to underneath the kitchen countertop for additional storage. This is a perfect place for a trash can. It's right by the door. You can take the trash right on outside. Wrapping around from that, you have plenty of storage underneath of the kitchen sink area. You've got fully extendable drawers for all your kitchen utensils, and then even more storage space underneath of the cooktop. And down below, you have a nice deep drawer for pots and pan storage. The refrigerator in here is a 12 volt fridge, very good size. It has a large freezer and large refrigerator space for all your cold storage needs. Also in the living area, right across from the kitchen, you've got some movie theater seating, which is really nice. It's got a couple of cup holders built into it and a little flip up area for storage. You'll also notice it's got a nice big window above and storage above that as well. And then just right next to that is where your TV location is. And you've got storage above, not very deep, but a few inches, storage below, and then a small fireplace too. One last thing, right next to the refrigerator, you have a pantry cabinet with fixed shelves up above and pull out shelves down below. Now, as we move past the kitchen and living area, we get to where the bunk beds are located. And these bunk beds are really nice. They each have their own window. They each have a TV hookup with receptacles, cable, and USB ports. So the kids can sleep in here, watch TV, play on their tablets or phones or whatever they would like to do. So right across from the bunk beds is the first bathroom in this motorhome. So it's a great size bathroom. I'm standing in the shower, very comfortably fitting in here. There's at least a foot over my head. I'm 5'11", so you could be seven feet tall and fit in here just fine. It's got corner shelves for soap and shampoo bottles, nice shower heads, so glass doors, just a very, very nice setup. You'll also notice there's tons of storage in this bathroom starting with a mirrored medicine cabinet. And then of course, a corner cabinet and additional cabinets over the commode. As we lower down through here, you've got a beautiful vanity top with a really nice big sink in here. You've got some open storage and also additional storage underneath of the vanity sink. Just behind the hallway where the bunk beds and the first bathroom are located is the owner's bedroom. And this is a really big owner's bedroom king size bed which is a tilt -a bed by the way so it's very nice and comfy plenty of storage up and over top everything looks very nice and luxurious in here there's also a little end table on each side of the bed with usb ports and an electrical receptacle as well directly across from the bed you'll see that your tv is located right here in the center and then you've got lots and lots of wardrobe style cabinetry for storing anything that you would like to hang up. You've got a mirrored wardrobe cabinet here with adjustable shelves in there. And then down below, of course, fully extendable shelving or drawers, I should say, and more sh drawer space down below that. You have some vented storage in here as well. These are actually vented doors, which is a really nice feature. You can hang your more delicate items in this wardrobe closet. So here I am just past the owner's bedroom and the bathroom takes up the whole width of this RV. Very nice size. Come on in. Let's check it out. So here I am inside the shower stall like I usually am. And this shower is a very good size shower. You could be seven feet tall underneath this skylight and have plenty of room in here. It's got corner shelves to hold your shampoo and soaps and things like that. The commode in here. Whoa is a good size and it passes one half of the elbow test with flying colors so the rest of the bathroom they have made the most of all the storage space they could over the back window they have shallow cabinetry here for storing items they also have a nice corner cabinet for storage and of course a mirrored medicine cabinet with plenty of storage in there too then they have a great vanity here nice big sink lots of countertop space storage below the vanity 
and fully extendable drawers. This Class A RV is the Winnebago Forza model number 38W and it measures in at 39 feet 6 inches long. Now this Class A RV features two full bathrooms and bunk beds. And when you first walk into this RV you can just feel the spaciousness because there are slide outs on both sides of this motor coach. Now starting at the very front you'll notice that it has a really large driver's cab. Both seats swivel around so you can use them both for driving and for entertaining inside your RV. And you'll notice it has all of these very large storage compartments over top. I'm not a real big fan of these. I'd rather have smaller storage compartments and more windshield space personally. But if you need the storage space, you certainly have it in here. One other thing to note is there's no bed over top of this driver's cab that drops down that allows a couple of extra people to sleep up there. That could be a good thing if you're trying to keep the relatives out or if you need more sleeping space, you probably need to find a different Class A motorhome. Now, when you first walk in, the kitchen is really what's prominent because you're looking at it. It's sort of straight ahead when you come in the entry door. You'll notice here that it has a residential style refrigerator here. It's got a very nice pantry cabinet with adjustable shelving inside. Also, you'll notice overhead, it's got a large Whirlpool convection style microwave oven. This thing is gigantic. Just below that, you've got a three burner cooktop and then storage with fully extendable drawers down below that. You have another bank of drawers next to that. So you have plenty of room for all of your kitchen utensils and such. And then underneath the kitchen sink, there's a ton of storage down there as well. Now above that, you'll notice you have a good amount of countertop space here, a deep double bowl sink with a very nice modern looking faucet with a separate pull out sprayer. Also, it's got a window above the kitchen sink, which is always a nice feature to have. And then it's got a lot of really good storage space above the kitchen sink too. And then you have these little cubbies on the side. These are perfect for spice racks or things along those lines. Just across from the kitchen, you have your dinette area. Now this dinette is easily able to seat four people pretty comfortably. The seats themselves are very, very comfortable. Also, the table can drop down and you could sleep one person here, maybe two kids. It's also got a nice big window over top along with some lighting and additional storage cabinetry there too. And these seats do lift up and there's extra storage underneath the dinette booths as well. Back in the living area, you'll notice that it's got a nice comfy couch, which sits right across from the entertainment center. The couch itself does fold out into another bed and you've got a nice big size TV here with some storage above. You could get a DVD player and plug things in on this side. The other side is meant for storage of DVDs and things like that. Down below the TV, you have a nice big fireplace as well. Just beyond the living area is where you'll find the bunk beds in here. And each one of these bunk beds has its own window with a light overhead. In fact, the top bunk can fold up and out of the way so you can use it for storage as well as use it for bunks. Right across from the bunk beds is the first of two bathrooms in this Class A motorhome. So let's head inside and take a look. So here I am inside the shower in the first bathroom and it's a good size shower in here. There's even a seat in here. There's a nice cubby space for your soap and shampoo bottles. But a couple things that I really like about it are that it also has the glass doors instead of a curtain. So much nicer setup. And it also has an upgraded shower head in here as well. In the rest of the bathroom, you have your uh, medicine cabinet, which is Kind of odd because it's not over top of the vanity, it's off to the side, but you still have the storage space and a mirror here. Over top of the vanity, you just have a mirror on the wall. The vanity sink itself is a really good size. You have a little bit of countertop space, open storage on one side and closed storage under the sink. And then finally, here I am on the commode, passes the elbow test on one side. Here I am in the owner's bedroom and there's some really, really cool features in here you're gonna check out. And the first one is just over my shoulder here. This is actually a TV that drops down out of the ceiling. So when you're laying in bed, you've got a great view of your TV. You'll also notice in here that this is a queen size bed. It's a full queen, has a nice headboard built in, windows at either side so you get a little bit of a cross breeze. And then of course you've got nightstands with 
some charging ports, receptacles, and everything you need to get charged up at night. Just at the foot of the queen bed, you've got a lot of wardrobe cabinetry and space. Uh, it's a, a whole lot of hanging storage in here for all your shirts and things that you don't want to get wrinkled. Down below that, you also have full extension drawers for even more storage space. The bathroom is located all the way in the back of this coach and it extends from side to side and there's a little surprise in here that we want to show you so come on in let's take a look at the bathroom so here i am in the bathroom and again in, find myself in the shower stall but this is a good size shower headroom there's probably about six feet five inches you'll also notice that we have glass doors in here and this shower stall also has a seat so here we are at the bathroom vanity and it's a really large size. I mean, the size of this medicine cabinet is huge. You could store tons of stuff in there. Bathroom sink is a very good size. Lots and lots of countertop space around it. And then you have all these drawers that you can use for additional storage too. The commode location is in a great spot. It fully passes the elbow test. And now for a nice little surprise. Behind this cabinet right here, You've got your washing machine. And just above the vanity, you have your dryer. So which of the three Class A's with two bathrooms and bunk beds did you like? Well, I liked the Winnebago fours are the best. And okay. here's why, it took two big reasons. Number one is that it had the opposing slides. Okay. And I just love a Class A RV that has mm -hmm. slides that are opposite each other. Right. It just makes it feel so much wider yeah, and have bigger. Yeah, a lot more living space. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's really fantastic. And I love the TV that like flipped down from the ceiling over the bed. I know that's kind of a, you know, whatever. A, a f but it's neat. Yeah, it's a fluffy kind of item. But it was really kind of cool. So yes. For those couple of reasons, I really <laughs> like the floors are the best. <laughs> How about you? I liked the Holiday Rambler. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that too. It was yeah. a good one. Um, just so bright when you walked in there. I really like that. The color scheme of it was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I like that it had the bed and the cab that it, lowered down. Yeah. Your forest, it did not. Right. Um, I thought, uh, you know, I, I liked the bunk beds. You know, I liked the kids being able to have access to their own television or devices and, yeah. you know, put that all away in there. Um, so I just think they did a really beautiful job, you know, making sure everything... Yeah, their fit and finish was really, really mm -hmm. nice. And I like the backsplash over the kitchen countertop. Yeah, it sort of had that like transom window right. built in there. It was right. really different. It was shallow but long. Yeah. So yeah. it was neat. It was very, very different. Yeah. Well, you might be looking for a drivable RV with bunk beds, but maybe not as big as a Class A RV. And if that's the case, you should check out our next video in the box below that's all about Class C RVs with bunk beds as well. Mm -hmm. And if you made it this far in the video, hopefully that means you liked it and you'll want to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel and hit the notification bell when you do so you'll be notified when we put out a brand new video every single week.